Continuing from where I left off, in this tutorial, what I will do is, in my service provider, define where to pick the views from and also use the publish functionality to publish our migrations into the main package or rather the end. And define the publish function to publish our migration from inside the package into the main application. All right, so the first step is to load the views, define the path for the view files. To do that, I will say this load views from current directory and then I'll basically save inside a new folder which is inside to do so I'll say slash dot dot slash views and then I'll pass a second argument which is the alias I'll say to do what this does is tells the app that any view which is referred with the alias to do will be found inside this particular folder okay so let's create our first view I'll say uh, inside the packages I'm tough to do views I'll say to do list dot play dot php and the h1 tag I'll say my to do's okay so now the next thing is inside the controller return view now to load a view inside the controller what we need to do is basically mention the alias which we have given in the service provider so how does it work it's to do colon colon and then the name of the view which is to do dash list then open chrome refresh and i'm loading the view all right with this let's jump in and create our own first migration so the workflow is i have a migration inside my source migration folder which comes as a package and then after adding the service provider in app.php when i run vendor publish the migrations will be copied into the database migrations folder okay so as you can see right now i have four migration files now let's create our migration so the migration file will follow the typical structure which is let's say inside packages source i'll have a folder migrations and in that 2015 underscore 07 underscore today's date which is 25th and then let's keep the time to one two three sorry one two three one two three underscore create to do table dot php okay, so this is our migrations file it is inside the source folder I'll just copy paste the code because this is regular stuff okay so our migrations is ready and let me quickly add that entry into the service provider so inside my service provider I will say this publishes it will accept an array okay and in that I'll say underscore dir dot and then the path so it should be migrations 
my migration file name is 2015 underscore 07 sorry six zeros underscore create to do table dot php okay and where should it go it should go inside base underscore path and then inside that database slash migrations slash same file name dot php define files which published okay so with this in place I think we are ready to save our migration or rather publish so php artisan vendor publish it has copied migration let's check if it is correct inside database migrations one two three four five yes we have five files now our migration was copied correctly now just a hint say if for some reason you forgot to add something crucial and you know you want to make that change in the package and then in migrations sh should get updated here right in that case let's say this is my migrations and just for example I'll add some comment here okay and now if i do publish as you can see nothing is being copied which means this file is not updated right so what you can do is add dash force which will mean all the vendor publish will happen again and it will override and so if i close this file and this file as well and double click you can see this is coming only one reminder is that if you have any configuration files which you have changed and then you run this command again those changes will be lost if they are not inside version control okay so our migrations are ready i can run php artisan migrate and the table should have been created quickly i'll go php artisan tinker all right and oh we almost forgot to create the model so let's quickly create our model i'll name my model as to do so inside packages on the bar of to do source i'll have a file called to do php okay namespace on the bar of slash to do class to do it should it will extend the model you need to use that so it should be inside illuminate database inside database it will be inside eloquent model all right so the first thing which i need to define is the table dollar table equals uh, to do's my migration was to do yes so this is done and then the fillable so protected dollar fill table it is an array um user underscore id completed and to do so if you check my migration what am i doing i have an increment which is the primary identifier the user id the user who has created it completed or not it's a boolean and the to do itself all right so once this is done i can go into tinker and i say i'm at the to do to do create what are the different properties i have what is it? 
I have user underscore ID which I will for now set to 1 I have completed which I will set say this one is complete right and to do the, the actual text so my first to do is create tutorial on package development part one that's obviously completed okay so we have created one entry and let's say part two which is not completed and a few dummy entries as well I'll say pay mobile bill which I have not done yet pay credit card bill I have not done yet <laughs> and buy veggies let's keep it to one all right now if we quickly do a tinker all I have five entries so this is good enough to play with let's quickly go into our controller this is a view I will say dollar to do's equals to do uh, why don't we order it by the uh, the ID or maybe the create created at do get for now we are fetching everything is that's there in the table obviously for example it is not ideally what you will do but that's okay so I am fetching everything from the to-do model I need to write the use so use Amita to-do to-do class okay so this is done correctly I'm getting the to-dos I'm passing it into my view and inside the view let's quickly say add it for each dollar to do as dollar to do say end for each my email will start here let's just copy it paste and then li and inside the li it's a to do dash okay let's go to page hit refresh and here we are oh I think I have done one mistake which is a controller yes here it is I think it should be created not created but ID uh, let's make it descending okay yes so basically the fifth ID which is by veggies is at the top all right so that's about it so in the first and the second part basically I have covered how to create our own package inside that package we have our own service provider which tells Laravel that you know this is the package and what are the different components in that package then we you know created our own route file which has its own route and it is calling the controller inside our controller we are fetching a view from inside the package and passing our data which is coming from the model which is again part of the package and last inside the view we are building our logic to present the data that's about it if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and leave your comments you can also subscribe to my channel 